we're in like this wave of like being evolved and not being evolved at the same time, like technologically spectacularly evolved to the point where we can bend matter and create nuclear weapons and fly robots to Mars and take pictures and send them back to us. Like the shit that we could do is off the charts. There's no doubt Joe Rogan is one of the world's most popular voices right now. His podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, averages 11 million listeners per episode and 200 million downloads per month. But it's also courted its fair share of controversy. And we're giggling, ooh, we're gonna see Planet of the Apes. We walk into Planet of the Apes. <laughs> we walked into Africa, dude. We, we, we walked in the door and there was no white people. In 2021, Rogan made headlines after suggesting straight white men were being silenced by woke culture, ironically as a straight white male via his Spotify podcast worth $100 million. It will eventually get to straight white men are not allowed to talk. Right. Because it's your privilege to express yourself when other people of color have been silenced throughout history. It, it will be, you're not allowed to go outside because so many people were imprisoned for so many years. I mean, I'm not joking. No, I, I know, I know. It really will get there. It's that crazy. Rogan infamously downplayed the COVID-19 pandemic and copped a heavy backlash for it from fans and health officials like US top doctor, Dr. Anthony Fauci. But if you're like 21 years old and you say to me, should I get vaccinated? I, I go, no. If you're a healthy person and you're exercising all the time and you're young and you're eating well, and like, I don't think you need to worry about this. His show has been both praised and criticized for providing an open forum for controversial figures. The militant homosexuals are the ones that chose to be gay to get at people. This includes far-right news editor Milo Yiannopoulos, Proud Boys founder Gavin McInnes, right-wing conservative Jordan Peterson, and conspiracy shock jock Alex Jones. Right. Aliens are real. They're creating human-animal hybrids that are a new creature never here on Earth. It's alien. So the aliens are already here. AI is but alien. But you say so many the different Chimeras things without stopping. Alien. It's hard Because I'm reporting to, to the government agency so they'll listen and investigate. I'm decompartmentalizing. Okay. But this will be studied for years. So what... <laughs> Over 40 episodes of the show have been banned from Spotify due to divisive guests and content. Despite this, the show continues to make waves. I mean, it's legal, right? It's totally legal. Okay. He infamously smoked cannabis with billionaire industrialist Elon Musk on the show, resulting in a 9% fall in Tesla stock. And the show also helped inspire good with the annual challenge of Sober October. I almost thought of bringing in all my marijuana and booze in here like a like why like it like in the old west when you had to turn in your guns <laughs> and just dumping them on the table. Even former President Donald Trump would tweet Rogan clips in order to bolster his re-election effort and championed an idea of a debate on the podcast with Joe Biden. When does him and Biden get here? What, no, what's not going to happen? See, what? Joe Biden's a smart one. He's like, well, that guy's a moron. I'm not going on his podcast. But if Trump, he's a smart one, we got, <laughs> we got problems. Trump is like, that makes sense to me. I'm in.